thoughts and observations. After watching the film of the Bears' 35-14 loss to the Packers in Week 4 defensive letdown with starting offensive tackles David Bakhtiari and Brian Bulaga out with injuries, the Packers essentially started a center and four guards. Lane Taylor took over at left tackle, while Justin McRae filled in on the right side. The Bears' defense nonetheless managed only two sacks on quarterback Aaron Rodgers in the first half. Those sacks, by outside linebackers Pernell McPhee and Leonard Floyd, were the only times the Bears touched Rodgers all night, which was especially concerning since the Packers had been criticized for allowing six sacks to the Bengals last Sunday. The Packers simply outschemed the Bears' defense. Clearly understanding their issues at tackle, they attacked with variety, knowing the Bears' rushers would try to keep Rodgers in the pocket. They used quick throws and screens. Rodgers' launching point also was moved with rollouts and sprintouts. Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers celebrates versus the Bears. API thought those guys did a heck of a job, Packers coach Mike McCarthy said of his offensive line. They kept us in a flexible game plan dot that included a concerted effort to run the ball. The Packers ran five times on their gimme opening drive, which ended with Rodgers' five-yard touchdown pass to receiver Devontae Adams. We had to be real smart, particularly starting the game, McCarthy said. We did a lot of three-step, moving Rodgers around. The third run was a big play with him. Aaron's great outside of the pocket, as well as in the pocket. But that offensive line gave me plenty of dropback calls, especially in the situational offense and that was huge for us. Defensive letdown Two complicating matters for the Bears were apparent miscommunications in this secondary which was missing veteran Quinton Demps on three Packers touchdowns. Before Randall Cobb's two-yard touchdown reception in the first quarter, reserve safety Adrian Amos and reserve linebacker John Time were talking and pointing in Cobb's direction. Nickelback Bryce Callahan covered Cobb in the slot, but a faked pick play led to instant separation and an easy throw and score for Rodgers. Cobb was left with a wadi area because linebacker Danny Trevathan rushed and Amos float to his left and away from Cobb. Rookie safety Eddie Jackson and cornerback Kyle Fuller didn't communicate well on a pick play against receiver Jordy Nelson and tight end Martellus Bennett in the third quarter. Nelson was left with Diopin for a score, as he was again later in a corner of the end zone for an 8-yard touchdown on the first play of the fourth quarter. Miramich Mustakas quarterback Mike Glennon's two interceptions came on similar in routes to receivers Marcus Wheaton and Deion Thompson, but on opposite sides of the field. Glennon's inexperience playing with Wheaton might have been a factor, but that excuse doesn't work with Thompson, whom Glennon has been throwing to since organized team activities. Follow me on Twitter at AdamJeans. Email johns at suntimes.com related Storias Morrissey did Ryan Pace think or drink before signing Mike Glenn on me bad NFL needs to send a 6 message to Danny Trevathan.